Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did my first boil test on this power pot. That's the uh, pot that has a thermal generator in it to generate electricity. But anyway, I did my first test with this using a mini Trangia on the Mojo pot stand. I've gotten a bunch of interesting emails and comments and stuff. Nice, thank you very much. And two of them I thought I'd try to work with here. Sh Shannon Smithification, sorry if I screwed that up, Shannon Smithification had asked, uh, well he had said, I wonder, or she, I wonder how this would work with tea light candles. If it works that would make a great backup for batteries and such. There seems to be a lot of interest in the tea light candles lately. John over at Flat Cat Gear even did some dry baking with it. Uh, I'll leave a link to that down below. You should check that out. But there has been a lot of interest in this, so this kind of made me wonder if it'll be if this will be enough heat to get this to generate electricity. I have this full of ice water with ice cubes and whatnot. Ice cubes, slush, and the whole bit, so it's pretty darn cold. But I don't know, not a whole lot of heat out of this. But let's see what happens. Here's the converter. Now if there's enough heat, this little light here at my thumb will go on. Let's see what happens. Put that on there like that. No, not yet. Let's see what happens though as I go on talking here. We'll see how long it maybe does take. Another <clears throat> interesting uh, comment that I got was from Maeve Raver where he had said, I wonder if you'd explain the capacity of the pots and containers, Hiram, if, when you do it, if you could also use pints and liters as well so people outside of the USA would know how much they carry. He's right. I'm sorry about that. That was something, a deficiency from me, I guess. I know I've been, uh, with weights and stuff, I've been doing, I've been adding it on for the gram weenies, but I guess I was lacking in overseas sizes. I'll try to, in the future, if I don't do it in a video, I'll try to put it down in the text area. And if I forget to, please feel free to remind me. In this case, the... Uh, bottom, I said held about five cups, a little bit more than five cups, but five cups. That works out to 1.18 liters or 2.08 imperial pints. Four cups, which is what this held, no I take that, four cups I think was up to about the line here. Four cups is equal to about 0.94 liters or 1.66 imperial pints. This part, the cup, the lid, held about two and a half cups, which works out to about 0.59 liters or 1.04 imperial, imperial pints. Again, I'll put that down below. Okay, we've been on here for about two minutes and still not, no light. Now, they, the Tea light candles may work for, maybe I need to make that closer. Hmm. Tea light candles may work for dry baking because for there you really wanted a low heat. Let me try something a little different here. Get Maybe this is up a little bit too high, holding the pot up too high. So let me convert this around. I'll use this, uh, the Evernew pot stand that goes into the Evernew, which is like a Trangia type burner. Let me see if I can move these out without spilling them. Okay, just like. I'll get it figured out yet. Okay, now that brings, that'll bring the pot down a little bit lower. And four candles fit in there real nice. 
put this on. Okay, now the flames are actually touching the bottom of the pot. Uh, but still no no light. Are they still burning? Nope, I actually put one or two of them out. Maybe I put them on a little too fast. Let me go a little slower this time. Okay, all the candles are lit. It's actually the flames are touching the bottom of the pot. But still no light. So I don't know. I don't think candles are going to cut it. Let me cut here and I'll just let this run for a couple of minutes. Okay, so there we are in seven minutes. I restarted the timer. What I did was I lifted up the Evernew pot stand with the uh, Las Vegas token chips. These are about a tenth of an inch high so that the pot wasn't setting in the flames from the candle but up just a little bit so that we get the whole flame. But here we are, seven minutes and still no light. So I guess it's just not hot enough to generate the tea light candles just aren't hot enough to generate electricity off this. I've had people pointing out to me that it needs a canister stove, that it was made for a canister stove because of the size and everything. But even that's kind of overkill, I think. So I'll be playing around with this a bit more with uh, wood fires, more uh, alcohol burners, the whole bit. So I think, sorry if I screw this up, Shannon Smithification for his uh, comment about the tea light candles. Sorry it didn't work, but it was a cool idea. Again, check out uh, John over at Flat Cat Gear, his dry baking using tea light candles. Pretty cool. And I thank Maeve Raver for pointing out to me about the units that I use for capacity on this. In the future, I'll try to give the, whenever I give cups and pints and, or cups and quarts and stuff, I'll try to do it also in liters and imperial pints. If I don't do it in a video, I'll do it down in the text area. And if I forget to put it down there, please feel free to point it out to me and I'll correct it. One other thing quick before I take off, I had said that using this as a lid on this is kind of overkill. It'd be nice to be able to use this for something else while water is boiling, but you need a lid for this. I was looking through my old kits and stuff, and it's not a Boy Scout pot, but it's the same size, you know, a Palco or any of those. It, the pot was all banged up, but I still have the lid, and it fits on there like it was made for it. So I think that's what I'm going to include with this kit now so that I can boil while using the, uh, the, the lid for a cup or a frying pan or whatever. Okay, so I thank you all for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.